Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. If you ever want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're going to see what is new and what to look out for. I'm pretty good about linking those down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that down below as well. So let me dive right in and let me show you on these amazing items I've been able to find at my Dollar Tree, name brand, for one dollar. Yes, my Dollar Trees are still one dollar, but I know that will be changing very soon. So let me start out with this. Mossy Oak. Mm-hmm. Look at this. They had it in kid size, adult size, and they had a few different styles, but look at that. It's got the tags, everything. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no holes, cuts, nothing amazing. I picked up, this is a 3X, but I'm gonna donate it to a family friend to give it to her brother. So I thought that was an amazing deal. Again, $1 for a name brand shirt. Okay, a few other name brand items I'm going to share with you. I bought six of these. I can't find the sixth one. I don't know. It probably fell out of my bag, cart, or I don't know. But these are by Mattel. Yes, you can find name brand toys at the Dollar Tree for $1 or $1.25 or what it is, whatever it is in your town. But these are the Hot Wheels character cars of Minions. Again, there are six of them. I can only find five. I know I bought all six. But let me start out with number one. So it looks like I'm missing number four somewhere. But the first one is Stuart. Right here on the top, you're going to see the number. So this one's telling you one out of six. Again, this is a name brand item for $1. And the number two is Kevin. Believe it or not, I've never watched Minions before. I know my kids have, but I haven't. And the number three is Otto. Odo? But these are really, really cute. And then number five is Carl. And number six is Young Gru. I'm assuming the little dude and see Bob is the one I'm missing I know I have Bob somewhere in my other room so again there's six of them one dollar all right a couple other items in the toy department although I'm not no <gasps> I found Bob he's right here on top how did I, I totally miss that but there's Bob there's Bob so yes we have all six of those. <sighs> okay, I was born in the 70s, but I remember having one of these in the early 80s. I got it for Christmas one year. And, oh, speaking of Christmas, I will show you um, the items I got for Christmas from my husband and my kids and my mom here at the very end. But these right here, I remember getting one from Spencer's. These were pretty good size and they were real, like, needles and they would put holes feels like in your face but who remembers these now they are kind of tiny they are plastic and they have it as pin art ages three and up it's a three and a half by 2.875 just say two three and a half by two and a half but there's the red one but look how cool those are but again, I don't think it's going to show my face or anything. No? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's my nose. But yeah, they had it in two different colors, the blue and red. So those are really fun to have. Again, from the 80s, I'm sure a lot of you had one back in the day. And those really, when you put your face through there, it's just like you had red dots all over your face. 
Um, let me finish. Oh, let me show you just this item from Crafter Square. These are metal buckets. You get three of them. So I know in the wedding department, they have like a set of three of these, like usually they're in white, but these feel a little bit heavier than the ones you would find over there with the wedding stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go the tin. So look how cute those are. These are cute for little table decorations, or you could put, um, I know one of my daughter's friends a while back made up a graduation gift and she folded up a bunch of ones and fives and put it in something like this and put a little bow and it said congratulations. That'd be something cute to do for a birthday, a wedding, baby shower, anything like that, even for Christmas, although Christmas is gone, past gone. <laughs> already passed. Today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday night. So yeah, you get a set of three. Pretty cute. So I picked up those. Again, those are over by the Crafter Square items. Speaking of like the craft stuff, they have been getting a lot of amazing um, ribbon. And I think this is Offray. Uh, Not 100% sure, but it's ribbonribbon.com. Um, but look how cool. That is, and all of them, I think were nine, yeah, nine feet. So I thought this one was pretty cool. I don't have any scissors to open this, but I'll show you right here what it looks like. And it has a really weird texture. But anyway, I thought that was just really cool. Really like the colors. Again, they had so many different ones. Um, Their makeup. I bought a, quite a bit of this. I didn't buy the whole collection. Um, but I did split it up in different videos because I don't want to spend forever just showing you all this makeup stuff. But this is Ani, and I know they're well known for their eyelashes. And my daughter Ava loves their eyelashes, and they have a really good glue as well for your eyelashes. But now they have so many items. I couldn't even tell you how many, maybe 25 new items. So the ones that I included in this haul is the liquid tip eyeliner waterproof extreme black so there is that one pretty cool packaging as well and then you have the dramatic black mascara instant volume and thickness so picked up that one and by the way this is going to my daughter and then the last two items this is the Face Highlight and Bronzer Elimination uh, Brighten and Bronze Soft Texture Long Lasting Golden Glow. So look at that. And then we have the Face Highlight Brighten and Shine. And this one just says Glow. Oh, this is the Golden Glow. So if you don't want to be golden and you just want to glow, well, I'll just go with the glow. So I'm going to put these side by side give you a better look. So yeah, those are the items that I'm going to include in this one. Again, tons and tons of different items. One other makeup item I did pick up is the Instant Conceal and Con um, Contour by Rimmel London. Now I did look this up and it is a pretty good brand and I know some of you even commented that as well. They actually had three different ones. I don't think I have the other one here. I don't even know if I bought the other one, to be honest. I got it in this big old bucket. But this is the Highlight Conceal and Contour. So there it is open. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's kind of dry. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, pick that up. All right. Moving on. They're a Valentine stuff. Okay, so my favorite Dollar Tree, which is located there on Maysville Road here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, that's where I'm from, um, they were putting uh, Valentine's stuff out, I think, a few days to a week before Christmas. I went in on Christmas Eve and almost all their Christmas stuff was gone, and I think it was two days after Christmas, I think it was, I can't remember, but almost all of their Christmas was completely wiped out. It was just amazing. But anyway, the two items I picked up on that trip 
was the sign. I really liked how it was in the shape of a ticket and it says kisses, uh, kissing booth, 25 cents per kiss. It does have a little bit of glitter. And I know a lot of you said you can spray your signs and anything with glitter with hairspray to keep it from flaking everywhere. So I picked that one up and then I thought this was interesting and I didn't bring scissors. So I'll have to open it up and show you. They had two different hearts. Um, they had more, one that had more of the pinks and reds, and then they had this one with the cream, brown, and pink. It's got the XOXO, and it has the twine to hang it, and then it has, I'm a, I believe these uh, flowers are probably glued on there, but they put um, this little bubble over it to keep it from coming off. So we shall see to get to get oh that's a cute little bow so yeah that is foam feels like or like if you can see that close up and then you have the leaves so look how cute that is now you can always probably take this yeah you can take this xoxo off you can add a picture you can add another saying if you want or you can just flip it over and do your own thing so that is what i picked up there I thought this was a great deal. This is Old Spice Daily Cleanser Body and Face De Deep Cleans Gently Scrub Skin Energizing Scent. It's a five ounce bottle of Old Spice. I think my husband smelled this. Yeah, that smells good. I don't know. Let me see if you can get a good look at that. It looks like liquid gold. So picked one of those up. Can't go wrong with that. Um, wait, oh, the cereal. They've been getting so many name brands of cereal, which a, a lot, they get a lot of the general mills. Now, if you watch the news, you see that the prices of like cereal, different name brands are going up, which when aren't they going up really? But when you can find stuff like this for only a dollar or a dollar 25 or whatever at the Dollar Tree, this is a great, great deal. This is the Sesame Street. It's a one, two, three berry um, cereal, lightly sweetened, whole grain. And what's cute is that it has like this little book that you can open up and read. This is a 12 ounce box of name brand. All right. Oh, and this. I think we picked up a couple of different ones. Yes, we did. Oh, I, I have another ribbon in there. Well, Molly, golly. Um, this is Owana Banana. Banana? Wana Banana? <laughs> Interesting. No sugar added. This is a 2.70 ounce pineapple and banana fruit. And you get a three pack. Three of these for one dollar. They also had the banana and apple. They had another one, I think it was mango and something, but we're not mango fans in this house, so we're gonna try those out. Hmm. I don't know, and gluten-free, which is great. All right, oh, and these cookies. Um, these are just delicious shortbread fingers. You get 10 melt-in-the-mouth shortbread fingers, and this is a 5.25 ounce Scottish baker since 1895. Patterson's. And they have a pretty good weight to these as well. So, yeah. All right. The other ribbon I picked up, again, you get nine feet. I thought this one was pretty, like, for the spring or summer. Are these sunflowers. These would have been perfect for my daughter's wedding that just got married here in September. And I only picked up one of these. Did you, are you kidding me? I have another ribbon in here. Um, I totally forgot I had bought this. Well, I can use it for my other daughter. My daughter, Ava, just had her birthday on December 22nd. She turned 15. My daughter, Grace, is turning 20 this, I think it's this Thursday, the 30th. And then Samantha, my other daughter, she'll be 20, oh my gosh, 23 on January 12th. So I had bought some of this ribbon to put around my daughter's gift, but as usual, I forgot I had it. So I will use it for my other daughters. So, okay, no more ribbon in here. 
They had quite a few different ones of these. I just thought this one was totally different. I'm going to put this up for DIY in the future. I'm going to spray paint it because I don't really care for the colors right now, but this is Make It Blocks. These are the wannabe Legos. Now, if you've ever bought Legos and you know they cost an arm and a leg, your kids will put the stuff together once, that's it, throw it in the box, you'll probably never see it again. So if you don't want to spend that kind of money, this is the way to go. The Dollar Tree always has so many different varieties to choose from. You get a lot of plain um, bags of the Legos. Um, they have boxes. They have just so many different things in the plates. This is the 36 count of the construction blocks and it's um, compatible that fits all leading brands. And I thought this one was just cute because it's uh, the bench and the light and the trash can and that. And these are ages six and up. And there is the back. I will link the videos down below of when I did the walkthrough and you'll see all the different kinds of sets they have. All right, I think I got all of the colors of these. Now, if you watch TikTok, I'm sure you've probably seen these in a lot of their videos, but this is like the knockoff brand, the generic brand um, of these sticky kind of balls that you can throw onto your ceiling and then they, they fall and then you can throw them again. Now, just a note, my kids have thrown this on my wall. On my walls, there's no uh, like a greasy marks. If you know some of those other sticky hands or the other sticker ball, sticky balls that you can get in the gumball machine or whatever, those leave really nasty prints on your walls, your floors, your ceilings, but these did not. These are called squish sticky balls. <laughs> Gee, who came up with that name? Um, they had a, quite a few different colors. I'm going to show you all the ones that I did pick up. You get one per pack. So this is a glitter one, kind of a clear one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one to show you. My kids love them. So this is what it looks like. It almost looks like an egg, but it's not really that, you know, it doesn't leave any residue. It's not sticky, nothing. So that's what they look like. So the other ones I picked up was the orange, the yellow glitter. This is more of your pink purple glitter. This is a purple plain one. And this is a red glitter one, which would have been a perfect uh, Rudolph nose. And the blue glitter. I think there was a, some other colors that my kids already opened. So, I don't know. But anyway, those are really cool. And then I picked up one of these that had a, quite a few different um, colors. These are name brand, ages three and up. This is an Orb Sensory Stretchy Pal. So if you like to keep these kind of things in your car, your diaper bag, or in the playroom or grandma's house, these are great to um, keep on hand. Let me see if I can get it open. I know you're not pressing it. I don't think I can get this open. It's like you're on the time clock. I can't get it. I'll have to show you right here. I'll have to get some scissors and open it and show you what that looks like. But it looks like a pink uh, unicorn. And the last couple of items I picked up, the Dollar Tree is getting so many containers for storage to organize because it's, you know, the new year coming up and a lot of people like to organize and get things situated after the crazy holidays. So I picked up one of this, it's like a teal greenish kind of color. These things are ginormous and these make excellent, excellent baskets to make up a really cute gift basket, especially for a baby shower. You could put diapers and washcloths and burp cloths bottles, all that fun stuff in these. Wrap it up in some of the plastic that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And there you go. A really cute um, container that they can reuse to put other things in. And then I picked up this mauve kind of 
color. I think these are really cute. These are huge. I will put the size right here on the bottom so you get a better idea on how really big these things are. They're very well made. Excellent for any part of your house. And the last item I picked up, this is a powered by foot pump turbo wheels racer car. Ages three and up. They had it in three different colors. I picked up the green because the green is my favorite color. So I will have my son demonstrate this and I'll show you here on what it does. But it is plastic. Everything is plastic. I don't I don't have strong hands. He's definitely, oh! <laughs> that did not go well. But anyway, I'll have my son try it out for you, but this is what it looks like. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So really quick, I'm going to reach over here, grab some of the stuff that my kids and my husband and mom um, got me for Christmas. So the first couple of items, uh, my oldest daughter, Adeline, she loves plants. So she got me this plant for Christmas and she got me this real pretty, and it looks antique-ish, but I know it's not, but this really cute iridescent rose and this beautiful vase so I got that from my oldest daughter and then let me reach over here my daughter well, let me go to my next daughter so my second oldest daughter Sam I'm a huge friends fan and she bought me this shirt from H&M so look how cute that is so I got that from Sam and then my third oldest daughter, Grace, she got me these um, PJ bottoms. Were they Sam from Sam? No, they're from Grace. I'm not sure they're from Grace. Yeah, they're from Grace. Um, these PJ bottoms from Target. I love PJ bottoms. I wear PJs probably about 99% of the day, week, month, year. So went ahead and she got me those and she also got me this 23 and me now i've never done anything like this before if you have i would love to hear your feedback your story um just a quick background i never knew my grandpa my mom did not know she was i really want i don't want to say she was adopted um but she never knew her real dad, who she thought was her dad. I think she found out when she was like 30 that that wasn't her biological dad. And by the time she was to track him down, he had already passed. So I know nothing about him or his side of the family. Um, so I just think this some, that might be just something really cool to find out. Maybe, you know, more of the background of where I came from, ancestors, you know, what, just I don't know. I don't know. I see a lot of this on TV, so I have to do that. I have to collect my saliva and send it out. Never thought I would say that, but yeah. All right. And what I got from my mom. Sorry, just way over there on the other side of the couch. Again, another pair of PJs. This is my mom's favorite, favorite brand is Cuddle Duds. She loves this brand. So I have this really soft PJ top and the plaid PJ bottoms. Now I'm not that big, but I love my stuff loose, big. I don't like anything tight. Even the sweater's loose, but it looks like tight, but it's not, trust me, it's not. Um, so she got me those and she got me this makeup brush right there. And this first thing, I'm not 100% sure exactly, um, it can hook to different things and it does come with a strap. Not sure. I don't know. I hadn't really looked at it, but I don't know. Something different. I think it'll fit my phone. Oh, there's the strap. Oh, what is that? I didn't see this. 
uh, at first blush. So I guess I got some blush and I did not know it. Let me see if I can open it real quick. It's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Oh, yeah, I got some blush. Didn't know I had it. Ooh. Okay, moving right along. Okay, let me grab this. Okay. Um, so my husband got me, I think four or six of my body lotion that I absolutely love. I don't know why, but now I cannot find it in any store, which always seems to happen when I really like something and I'm obsessed with it. I go to buy it. It's gone. Discontinued. Gone. So he did buy me some of my body lotion that I really, really like. He also bought me, I think four or six of my face wash that I love that I've been using since like I was a teenager. This is the Noxzema Classic Clean Moisturizer. Not the original. <laughs> nope. Gotta have that one. So, got that. And he got me this really pretty purse right here. Nice strap. I like the crossbody kind. I just think it's safer to have something like that than something just dangling on your shoulder. Got me that. It feels like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? I don't know. Maybe not. But that is what I got for Christmas. And another video I can always um, kind of show you on some of the things that my kids got. Well, two of them because the other three have moved out. So I just have my two youngest here. So I just want to throw that in there. And also I want to say thank you to all of you for all the lovely feedback on the DIYs. Um, when I have a shorter video, I might add another DIY at the end because I think I have three or four more on my phone that I never uploaded and I never really edited. So maybe I'll just throw some of those in another video or I might just do a separate video just to show you on the other DIYs that I did that I never uploaded. So with all that said, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Tuesday and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Wow. Um.